Hey guys, me again. Um, this week, my blog is going to be about Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress. Um, it, it's by Dice CG, and I just got to say, getting straight into it, it, it's a great book. I love it. Um, it's got some brilliant plot twists, some really detailed characters, um, and it's also got some very clever key ideas. The book, it's set in China during the Cultural Revolution, and it's told from the perspective of a young boy um, who has been deemed to be a class enemy by the state. And it's about him and his best friend, Lu. And the aim of the Chinese Cultural Revolution was to try and eliminate the bourgeoisie and peasantry class system. And Chairman Mao attempted to do this by sending bourgeoisie teenagers, taking them from their families and putting them in rural villages to be re-educated. The narrator and his friend are some of the bourgeoisie teenagers forced to do this and they are placed in a town on a mountain called Phoenix in the Sky. Lou and the narrator are forced to do hard labour as part of their re-education and they become renowned for their storytelling skills. So the village headman starts sending them off on trips to go and watch movies and learn new stories to entertain the village. Um, on returning from one of these trips they meet the local tailor and later on in the book, they meet the tailor's daughter. Lou falls in love with her, however, he says he finds her too wild, um, and he wants her to be more educated. Um, later on, Lou and the narrator find a suitcase with Western literature in it, which they steal, and Lou uses the literature, literature to educate the Chinese seamstress um, so that she is less wild. Um, However, this has some unforeseen circumstances at the end of the book and actually leads to one of the biggest plot twists I've... Uh, one, of, one of the biggest plot twists I've ever read. Um, however, the narrator, he just uses it as an escape and a way to educate himself. Um, throughout the novel, Dai develops many of the characters. However, it's his development and characterization is most, uh, most obvious um, in the narrator. It can be seen easily in the narrator as he goes, he begins to form his own opinions about Chinese society um, through the use of this Western literature that he has found. Um, and honestly, I, I really like this book. I reckon it's a great piece of literature. Um, and it's got some very interesting ideas um, set in a very interesting time period. And it has some mind-boggling plot twists. Um, some well-developed characters as well also helps the book along and it's got the theme of love and that always spices things up a bit. Um, I personally would give this book a 9 out of 10 just for its characterization, themes, plot twists and the fact that the language is so easy and basic to read. Um, honestly guys, I love it. Really would recommend it. Um, see you next week.